guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl Nadine and welcome back to this week's video so in this video I'll just be talking to you guys about things you need to consider about yourself and about you in general if you are considering becoming a midwife becoming a student midwife just before you get into the whole you know three years or 18 months and it becomes like a complete shock to you and you just wasn't expecting what you're going through so if you're interested let's get into this video so these are the few things that I think you need to consider and if this is you then I don't think midwifery is for you. Obviously there are times where people overcome these problems or these situations and they literally become the best midwives ever. Like me, I had the fear of talking to people, talking to you know public speaking, presenting and presentations. I overcome it and now I am a qualified midwife. So obviously these things are just things that you guys need to kind of consider before taking that big step in becoming a midwife. So the first thing on my list that you need to consider is if you are going into midwifery and it's not your passion, it's not your drive, you're going into midwifery for all the wrong reasons, whether it be, you know, family pressure, you know, the family is telling you to go study midwifery, midwifery is a good job, it looks good for the family, if it's friends that are pressuring you into doing midwifery, if it's, you know, society pressuring you but midwifery is literally not your passion, not your drive, it's nothing that you want to get into. To, then midwifery is not for you. You need to go into this profession knowing that it's something that you want to do and you want to do it for you and not for anyone else. The reason why I say this is your family, your friends, you know society will not be there with you when you are trying to meet deadlines you're doing all-nighters in the library you're trying to revise for countless of exams you are on placement doing 12-hour shifts back-to-back -back, full-time job placement uni and you literally have no life your family won't be there it'll be you going through it all so don't go there thinking okay my family want me to do it so that's why I'm gonna become a midwife and study midwifery you will waste your time you won't enjoy it you just will be there dreading it hating life and literally just not enjoying yourself and it will just be a bad situation for you obviously there's some situation where people go into midwifery because you know family has told them to go into it or friends have told them to go into it and once they start it they literally love it and it's the best thing that they've ever done you know off the advice of their family and friends but obviously you need to also consider yourself is it right for you is it the right time for you is it something that you're passionate about is it something that you want to do don't go into midwifery because you're forced to do it and there's just a lot of pressure for you to do it so another thing that you guys need to consider if you're not a people's person if you don't like people then midwifery is not for you you will be with people all the time you'll be with people on your course your tutors lecturers your colleagues your peers the women you care for on placement the women you care for once you're qualified you're talking to doctors you're talking to nurses you're talking to healthcare assistants you will be talking to a variety of people you won't be sat on a desk in a room and you'll just be on a computer no you'll be out there talking to women talking to their family talking to your mentors if you're not a people's person and you don't like communicating with people and people just get on your nerves in general then I don't think midwifery is for you and you have to kind of reconsider this whole career path because there's no way of getting around it and you won't be talking to people you will have to talk to people even if you become a midwife and you you know specialize and you're doing you know paperwork constantly Monday to Friday you still have to be on the phone communicating to people meeting up with people having meetings going to certain conferences you know going on the wards doing audits you will always be talking to people and meeting and communicating communicating with people. So if you're not a people's person, then midwifery is not for you. So the next one that I want you guys to consider is if you're not a hard working person. There's different levels to hard working. Obviously, you can think you're the hardest working person before, you know, coming into healthcare, before coming into midwifery. But midwifery can be hard work. So if you're not hard working, if you don't like taking on challenges, if you don't like working in stressful situations, if you don't like, you know, if you come on shift and there's 
no one there you're short staffed you have to work with different people you were assigned to a certain mentor the mentor has you know gone off sick is on annual leave and now you're having to work with a new mentor if you're not a hard-working person then midwifery isn't for you there'll be times where you will finish your shift one hour after your finished time two hours after your finished time because there's just a lot of things that need to be done before you can actually leave there's documentation there's working with different people people that will probably get on your nerves people that will annoy you situations that will annoy you you know there's so many things that will happen on job in placement at uni that will require you to be a hard hard working person because there are times where you will be left on your own short staffed running up and down things are not making sense things are piling up and you have to get on with it because people's lives depend on it you have you know babies lives depend on it people are relying on you to do good for the women for their family for their babies so it's up to you to put your foot forward and be hard working and do that extra step so if this is not you then midwifery is not for you so the next one is if you have bad like i'm talking bad communication skills if you're the type of person that hates picking up the phone when people call you if you're slow to reply to emails if you can't send emails regarding situations with women if you need to refer women and you don't refer them on time things will get left behind women's care will be all over the place things will be missed so communication skills is a very big thing in midwifery if you cannot communicate effectively with your mentors with your cpfs with your colleagues other mentors other staff doctors if you cannot communicate with them correctly and in a professional manner then midwifery is not for you you need to be able to communicate effectively throughout your whole training um years and also when you qualify and become a midwife so if you are really bad with your communication skills either work on it until you literally can send an email as soon as you get it or pick up the phone and relay the information that is needed work on it work on it work on it but if this is not you then midwifery is not for you so this next one is kind of an experience that I experienced when I was studying uh, one of my colleagues saw a labor for the first time and she literally dropped out the course and she was like i didn't know labor was like this i didn't know we had to do this i didn't know we actually had to labor and we had to um, help women during their laboring process yes you will have to deliver babies so if seeing deliveries delivering babies and everything that comes with delivering and labor if that's not for you if you can't handle that then midwifery is not for you we deliver babies all the time so when a woman is in labor you will see all kinds of things she will act in all kinds of ways and you need to literally deal with it in a professional way and remember that you are a midwife or a student midwife and handle it professionally if seeing a laboring woman or delivering a baby is very like intense for you very overwhelming for you you just can't hack it then midwifery is not for you there's other ways of getting around it like you can qualify and then become i don't know like a specialized safeguarding fetal medicine something like that that doesn't require you to be actually clinical and delivering babies or you can work on a postnatal ward but you will have to deliver your 40 births while you're a student so there's no way of getting around it you will still have to see laboring women and deliver babies so if this is not for you then midwifery is definitely not for you so the next one is if you're a person that can't handle or just can't stand bodily fluids then midwifery is not for you you will be seeing all sorts of things out on placement and why you qualify you will see blood you will see vomit you will see urine you will see meconium you will see everything as possible you will see it all if you're the type of person that bodily fluids is just a no for you you literally can't handle blood you faint at the sight of blood everything bodily fluids just disgusts you you just can't stand bloody bodily fluids then midwifery is not for you there's no way of getting around it you will have there'll be times where you will need to take women's bloods where you'll be um delivering a lady and she urinates 
or you know a baby has pooed in the belly and you see meconium there will be times where you have to kind of dig in and get involved there'll be times where you don't have gloves and the woman is pushing and because the head is there and the baby's coming out you just have to deliver without your gloves if there's no gloves available to you at that moment you can't just be like hold on one second let me go get gloves there'll be times where you just have to kind of help with the delivery and then wash your hands and do all of that after but if you can't handle the sight of bodily fluids then midwifery is just not for you um so the next one is if you can't do shift patterns then midwifery is not for you so shift pattern i mean by if you can't do 12 hour shifts three days a week four days a week you know you do either a long day or a night shift if you can't do those kind of shift, pa shift patterns and you're more of a nine to five monday to friday person then midwifery is not for you as a student you will be expected to do night shifts you will be expected to do long days and there are 12 hours each shift is 12 hours so if you can't do 12 hour shifts or shift patterns and you prefer the nine to five life the monday to friday life then midwifery is not for you obviously once you qualify you get you know the option to choose whether you want the monday to friday nine to five job for example if you want to work in a clinic if you want to work you know in a specialized clinic looking after special you know specialized women if you're part of the safeguarding team and you're only working nine to five monday to friday then you have the option to do that and you you know it can escape the whole shift working pattern but as a student you are expected to do you know your night shifts your long days 12 hour shifts there's no way around that at all so if you can't do those 12 hour shifts then midwifery is not for you so the next one is if you don't work well under pressure or in emergency situations then midwifery is not for you there will be times where an emergency will happen you're with a woman an emergency arise arises and you have to think on your toes you know handle the situation handle the emergency work under pressure deal with the emergency and make sure everybody is okay so if you're the type of person that cannot deal with stressful situations with emergencies you can't work well under pressure you can't work you know in such a high paced environment then midwifery is not for you and you need to reconsider or work on you know, being able to work in stressful you know situations stressful environments when emergencies arises you need to be able to conduct yourself professionally and be able to handle the emergency or the situation you know head on in a professional manner so if this is not you then midwifery is not for you we have emergencies that happen while on shift as a student when you're qualified and you need to be able to handle the emergency effectively so if you can't and if you feel like this is not for you then midwifery is not for you so the next one is if you think of going into midwifery and you feel like after your degree you stop learning there's no more education there's no more you know things that you need to learn then you are wrong midwifery you are constantly learning new things things are constantly being updated and you need to keep on top of new medication new procedures new way of doing things you are constantly learning this is a profession that constantly learns it's non-stop learning once you are qualified you are still learning you become a preceptor midwife you have things that you need to complete things that you need to learn things that you need to get signed off you don't just stop learning once you qualify and you have your degree the learning doesn't stop so if you're going into midwifery thinking once i get my degree i don't have to learn anything and ever again nope 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 you have to constantly keep updating your you know career you have to constantly keep updated with the times with things that are improving you know research that's coming out there's you know different ways of doing th things there's different ways of doing things you have to be on top of your career and constantly constantly learning new things so the next one is public speaking or addressing people so um, what i mean by this is as a midwife or as a student you will have to do things like handover handover either to one midwife that's taken over your shift 
or you need to hand over to like a doctor to a team of people you need to sit and hand over the care you've provided on your shift um stuff like that or if you are at uni and you are expected to do presentations in front of either the classroom or in front of your tutors your lecturers you need to be able to do that so if you're a person that is literally afraid of public speaking or addressing people or talking in front of people then midwifery is not for you this was literally me when i before i started midwifery i was literally afraid of public speaking i could not do public speaking for nobody it was a fear of mine that I had to overcome because I wanted to be a midwife so I was like if I want to be a midwife I need to overcome this fear of addressing people or publicly speaking to people so this is something that you, people can work on and actually get rid of the fear and become great and amazing midwives but if this is something that you can literally not overcome and you feel like you won't be addressing people then midwifery is not for you because you will have to address people you will have to hand over things you will have to talk to doctors talk to your midwives talk to your mentors you just there's just no way around it so if public speaking is not for you then midwifery is not for you so this next one is if you are going into midwifery thinking it's just you know you're the same course as everyone else you know my friend did psychology and they lived their best life my friend is english and they lived their best life then you're wrong midwifery is like a full-time job while you're a student you have uni you have assignments you have exams to prepare for you have placement you have shifts to go to you're working a full-time basically you're working full-time when you're on placement there's no way around it there's certain hours you need to have in order to qualify so if you don't have those uh, if you don't have those hours then you don't qualify so midwifery is a very very big commitment if you don't have the time the capacity the willpower to commit to something that is full time that will take over your life then midwifery is not for you so the last and final thing is if you have a triggering effect or if bereavement or death or something that has to do with death is triggering for you then midwifery is not for you as a student you will be caring for families and women that have you know experienced a bereavement or a death and you'll be either looking after that you know that woman and something has happened you will be expected to care for that woman you know offer them their support speak to them advise them so if this is very triggering to you and you literally can't stand you know being around death speaking about death you know talking to bereaved families if this is something that's traumatic to you triggering to you then midwifery is not for you obviously this is one of the things that people can work on they can you know grow from this and they can um be able to handle situations when it comes to bereaved families things happen and people can adjust and grow from their situation so this is something that can be worked on but if this is something that you cannot work on you can't you know see women or families going through a bereavement and if you can't care for bereaved families then midwifery is just not for you so that is it if i remember of any other things i will definitely leave them in the description box below so make sure you check that out um i hope you guys have enjoyed this video if you guys want more don't forget to just like this video leave me a comment ask me any question you guys want and yeah i'll see you guys in my next video bye